Syracuse legends, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Bristol, Demetrius Nichols. Um, you came in right after the national championship. Yep. So you wanted to come to Syracuse. You oh, saw yeah. what these guys had. You saw, you know, Mello and GMAC, these guys lighting things up. Josh Pace, that 2003 yeah. team, you came in right in March. Uh, first of all, coming in and being recruited by Jim Beheim, yeah. the national championship. Yep. They knew you were a player. Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, I was surprised that, surprised that they were recruiting me. And when I found out they, that they wanted me to come, I, I wanted to commit as soon as possible. Yeah. But um, I ended up taking a visit to Providence and Villanova. So it was out of those three. But once I came up here and visited, it was a wrap. I, I committed it on the spot. You know what's great about you, too, is uh, I watch your, the way this guy works out. And his workouts are incredible. Your shooting workouts. And Coach Beheim was talking a little bit earlier about the NBA guys, how they work out. Like, you know, Durant and some of these guys. But you're the type of guy that... It's all about form, you know, your release, uh -huh. and it's the same thing every time. Like, when you watch you play, it's that same release, there's a, a, a consistent, consistency right. in your game, consistency in your release, but just um, you're so fundamentally sound. Yeah, yeah I mean, you, you try to be perfect, you know, like, you know, like, you know you're going to miss some shots, yeah. but you want to give yourself a great chance, so you try to shoot perfect every single time, and that's what I try to do, and, you know, I, I rarely miss, so is working for me. Rarely miss. I like it. I like that. Yeah. Um, last year, NBA Development League. Mm -hmm. This year, you're heading to Milwaukee. Milwaukee. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 So agents trying to find you and work you a spot into mm -hmm. the league somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, um, you know, watching the NBA Finals and seeing how the NBA has changed from last year, I feel like this year is more about the best player having the ball and creating something and throwing it out to the three so yeah. their guys can shoot it. Yeah. So, you know, like Shane Battiers, you know, the Danny Greens, you know, you know, guys that were off the radar, you know, that, that will be able to come in and, you know, knock down shots. And hopefully uh, I have a place for myself. You can get there. He'll get there. And he had, so and he had some, great, so. some great years overseas, too. Yeah, yeah, uh, pretty good. But, um, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's, that's always it's, good. It's always it's a there. Blessing. It's always there. Yeah. Um, I told me, uh, I told my wife that this is my last time um, uh, going to the summer league. Okay. You know, and uh, I'm just gonna, uh, if I don't make make it to the next level, um, I will uh, try to go overseas and get a contract. Uh, yeah. Now, does she travel with you and, and go with um, you? When you she do that? has off and on. Uh, she she doesn't stay the whole time, but but she stays mo she stays most of the time. When did you get married? Uh, a year ago. A year ago, right? In yeah. January. Yep. Nice wedding. Pretty wedding. It yeah. was nice. It was yeah. nice. She was happy, so I was happy. Right. She got, because you got married. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and this yeah. is um, um, we're doing the fantasy camp here mm -hmm. with Syracuse with uh, Coach Jim Beheim, Jim Beheim Fantasy Camp 2013. Mm -hmm. You're on the coaching staff. Yeah, you I came in a little bit late, mm -hmm. so next year you're e you're going to email me six months in advance, and Sounds you're and you're going to be on the uh, full camp. No problem, no problem. I just appreciate you guys for having me. You how know, do you, how, how do you like it so far? I love it, man. I love being around all these legends, you know, um, you know, guys that were, that was before me, guys that I used to watch, all right. guys that used to come to the games in the Madison Square Garden when, when like, we'll play in the Big East tournament, you know, just to see them and have a conversation with them, you know, like, and you might learn something from them, you know, so you just you try to- You got Pearl here, you got Billy yeah. Owens yeah. here. Like you have, you have you legends. Have DC, you know, like Derek who, Coleman. Who succeeded in the NBA, you know, so, and uh, it's just a great place to be. Great place to be. You're a Big East guy, ACC? Yeah. <laughs> no. John Wallace uh, in an yeah, earlier man, interview I'll, I'll felt the same be a way. I'm a Big East guy, man. Yeah. Like, I just, it's just, it's something about the Big East. You know, I feel like when when I was playing, I feel like we were one of the, we were probably the top top conference, you know. Um, yeah. You know, but I feel like once we go to the ACC, I feel like we're going to always be in the top three, top two or three. Um, I mean, that's what Syracuse does, you know. Um, you what know, battles are going to be? Oh yeah, Duke and Kentucky. Oh, I'm sorry, Duke, North Carolina, North Carolina, and you know, all these teams. So, yeah. Um, I think it's gonna be good, but it's gonna be different. Yeah. You know, like you know, guys, everybody's gonna have to adjust, including the fans. You know, uh, probably more traveling and stuff like that because you gotta go to the south. But you know, it's more, it's more exposure, and hopefully we get more guys coming to Syracuse to uh, you know play in ACC because that's probably gonna be the best, the best conference. In the league now. How do you like uh, CJ Fair? Is such a great player, mm, and good. has a nice release, mm -hmm. and and he's got the ability to, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, people want to see a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I think uh, him putting the ball on the floor right. and in the basket a little bit, and he's developed the three this year. Right, right. And that's and, thoughts. and you know what? And that's what 
that's what some people don't understand is that you don't want to go in a situation trying to prove that you can do something. Yeah. You do what you do that got you your name, that got you to where you were successful. You yeah. know, like they were telling me when I was coming out of the league or coming into the league, oh, they want you to put it on the floor a bit more. I went to the camp and I did what I did, you know, and I, you know, I was successful, yeah. you know, so as long as CJ does what he does, I think he'll be all right. But, you know, he's just trying to play as best as he could, you yeah. know, do what you do best. And then you work on the stuff that you need to work on once you get in, you know? Right, yeah. So, Michael yeah. Carter-Williams, uh, number 11 draft pick. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah, man, man. Uh, he's MCW. a Massachusetts guy. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Actually, um, he went to my high school. Yep. Um, it's, just, it's just great to see him develop because uh, when I used to go back to my high school, you know, we'll play and stuff like that. He, you know, uh, Your face is on the wall. You got a statue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's like, you know, it's, you know, like, it's just great to see a young guy like that be successful and um, light it up. Know, yeah, man. He's, you know, uh, he played really, he really played one year. You know, he had a, he had a decent year. So um, I think the Sixers are going to be happy with him. And, um, and that's just more pub for the Qs. You know, Coach <laughs> Bayheim made a comment, too, which is really uh, interesting. Johnny Flynn, that six-overtime game, had 34 points. Mm -hmm. NBA teams were, were looking at that game saying, we're what? drafting from him. What could he be? What right? could he be? Exactly. He becomes a six. Mm -hmm. Michael Carter-Williams has an unbelievable Big East performance, mm -hmm. has a great NCAA mm -hmm. run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number 11, what can yeah, he be? Yeah, yeah, Long, yeah. lengthy guard, ability to put the ball on the floor, run the team. And that's the thing with him is like, Okay, let's say he's struggling shooting. He can play defense. He can yeah. run a team. Yeah. He's he's six seven with a long wingspan. You know, you know, and he's a good guy. You know, like he is. You know, like he's not gonna bring you trouble or problems and stuff like that. So, you know, there's more to Michael Carter Williams than just you know offense. I think he plays a big role defensively. Yeah. Uh, I think I think he can be you know probably on the de probably on a defensive um, team. You know, in the league. You know, one day. So. And uh, hopefully I'll be there too, so we'll see. <laughs> Demetrius Nichols is going to be lighting it up with MCW, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, mm -hmm. D-Nick. Thank you. Appreciate it. All Appreciate right. it. Yep, yep.